So today, you guys, I'm doing an alopecia weave on my client. You guys have seen her before, but I wanted to show you guys a little more in-depth of the process and some new innovative ways that we've created for it to last a lot longer. So right now, she already has her crown area protected. This is where you guys see that mesh as well as some protectant papers. This is a step that I decided to add on after taking a class with another one of my colleagues. I tell you guys all the time, learning never stops. You are never too skilled. You never know enough. And I wanted to find some new techniques where I would be able to assist my alopecia clients and also give them a little more longevity with their alopecia weaving services. So she's already been washed and I actually used our Mend It collection or Mend It, sorry, Mend It, but this is the Control collection. My gosh, okay, I couldn't get it out. I got it out, there we go. I used the Control collection, which is our Mend It products to shampoo and condition her. And then we went ahead and protected her crown area. Now, what you guys see on the top is that mesh. The mesh is being held on by an adhesive, but the adhesive is actually on top of two additional layers of protection, including some protectant paper, okay? So the adhesive is actually not touching her scalp, it's not touching her hair, and this has proven to last a lot longer because if my client perspires, that perspiration has to get through four different levels of actual protectant, including the mesh, okay? So this technique I definitely love doing. It's not for every client, but for my clients who are more mature or they sweat a little bit more, I like to use that particular method um, more often now than before. So I'm using our one inch ceramic black diamond iron. By the way, you guys, since I mentioned that, you guys know today is my birthday, June 22nd. Yes, your girl just turned 37 years young. I was gonna say old, I'm not old. 37 years young. And today is the day that everything is 50% off. All of our irons are between 50 and $100, which is huge savings on any of our H2 Pro professional irons. Also, come in, come in, come in close. I gotta give you a secret. We have our Nefertiti hair potion on sale today only for $3.70 US cents, not Jamaican. $3.70 for a two ounce Nefertiti hair potion, okay? While supplies last though, you guys. So definitely jump over to the site and grab yourself some Nefertiti hair potion. Stay to the end of the video though, you guys, because I have a secret flash sale that's gonna be happening this evening. And only those of you who watch this video will know about the flash sale before it actually happens. But you gotta watch to the end. All right, outside of that, you guys, we also have $60 free shipping or anything over $60, you get free shipping for the continental US. Plus we have our eBooks and classes on sale for $3.70. And I rolled out my business and branding bundles for those of you that want to be in business, for those of you that wanna learn how to brand yourself, those of you that wanna learn about self-confidence, speaking with confidence, those of you that want to learn about just anything business, side hustles, some side hustles that you can do from home. All of that is on sale today for $37 in one big ebook bundle. Go to my website, EliteHairCareUSA.com and check all that good stuff out. It is today only though, and today is June 22nd. So if you're watching this video late, I'm so sorry, you missed it. But don't you worry. Tomorrow, Friday, June 23rd, all the way to Sunday, June 25th, everything will be 25% off, excluding bundles and flat irons. And of course, it will be free shipping all weekend. So if you miss today, don't worry, you still have opportunity to save, but today is the day. Today is it. All right, anyway. So we have completed flat ironing my clients or silking my clients out. Now we are actually going to be using a hair by the company name of Empire. I love their salt and pepper mix of hair. I love the texture of that hair. It works really, really well for my gray hair clients. Um, she has graduated. When we first started doing this service, she was getting like a 10 inch. Now she gets between a 12 and a 14 inch. More than likely she gets a 14 inch because her hair has definitely grown. Now some clients, the scarring alopecia that she has going on does not reverse. Hence the reason why we are always covering her crown 
Not everyone can get their hair to grow back, you guys. Once it's scarred, it's scarred, okay? So at this point, we are just basically making sure that we protect that area. That's always required, no matter what. And then we also give her a style that allows her to walk with her self-confidence. It allows her to be confident. It allows her to not feel ashamed. It allows her to feel like she has some hope. She has a style. And not everybody looking at her or judging her or just passing any type of snide remarks or giving their little fray looks because you know that's what we like to do as people. She doesn't have to worry about that. So for all the negative Karens, negative Nancys, Bills, Bobs, and Joes, just keep the comment to yourself, sweetheart. It's not warranted over here, nor is it needed. Have a great day. By the way, it's my birthday, so just keep it to yourself anyway, because on my birthday, you could pour bleach on me, and I'm still going to be in a happy mood. Okay? All right, good. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start applying her tracks to her hair. Of course, we are using adhesive, you guys. The tracks do not hold on by themselves. They don't get attached with hairpins. It's not a toupee, okay? These are individual tracks that have to be laid, and the only way to lay them is with adhesive. I don't know if some of you think that there's some magic, um, magic air that we can spray on there, and that adhesive is not required. That, that doesn't work that way. Okay, so our job is to protect the area so that we can do services like these to clients like herself and make it nice and cute with longevity. Yeah, okay, good. All right, <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and apply her tracks, you guys. I'm gonna let you guys just kind of watch the process and then we'll come back and talk about the styling and the cut.
Okay, so this is the part that I always seem to get a lot of questions about. Don't mind my bra strap. It was in the way. It's fine. Tell the joke on yourself before people can tell the joke on you. And I didn't want to stop and touch it. So just just let it lay where it, where it is. Okay. But the closure of her style is usually a question that I get all the time. Oh, you don't like to make your own closures or because I like to use a little closure piece in some of the packages that I use because I like to work smarter, not harder. But in cases like hers where I am doing longer hair or wefted tracks, your girl has skill. I've been doing this over 20 years. So yes, we are doing a closure. Um, you can also even make an imaginary closure, which I don't like doing. I rather just do my little around the world and make my closure that way. But there are multiple ways that you can make a closure, you guys. For my clients, I usually do it by hand. And sometimes I use a pair of scissors as an aid which the scissors does make it a lot easier because I'm able to wind the weft a lot tighter and to give that illusion that there's really no track. So your closure definitely is super important. You don't want the, the weft of the track exposed, but you also don't want that closure to be super bulky where the hair is sticking up in the crown. And now you are trying to use heat and manipulation to lay that hair down so that's also very important when it comes on to closures especially for clients where you're blending their hair with extensions i am one of those people i like it to look as natural as possible but i'm also not houdini so at the end of the day i am going to do my absolute best to make it look as nice as i possibly can but i don't do magic tricks okay so i do what i can do okay good all right let's move forward um, after we go ahead and lay all her tracks, everything's nice and laid. Do you guys notice that that closure is already flat? I haven't put any heat to that area whatsoever. I don't ever really ever have to. And then I like to create my little around the world really, really easy. And I always do a very, very small piece, like less than a centimeter in diameter, because that is another trick to the trade of keeping that hair and that closure nice and flat and seamless. Some stylists get it, some stylists don't. This is something that comes with practice. And when you're working with alopecia clients, really your goal is to mimic as best you can what natural hair would look like. So I'm not gonna give her a full head of hair where she has two and three packs of hair. Her hair is not in that type of fullness already. So I wanna also make sure that she's comfortable and make sure that this feels as though this was her hair from the beginning. So the fullness or the density is also going to match. Keep that in mind. I don't like to take my clients out of their natural realm, especially with styles like these, because they really just want to feel like normal. They wanna feel normal. They don't wanna feel like they have on a wig. They don't wanna feel like they have on a toupee, which is also one of my goals as well when I'm working with my alopecia clients. Some of them will come in with wig looking styles and I'm like, hey, your hair does not look that way. So I always recommend that we try to mimic the style that you would naturally wear. And that keeps you in that element and keeps you happy because you are in your comfort zone. But that's just my opinion. And of course, if the client says different, then we do whatever the client says, as long as it's within reason and within the, my abilities or my skill set. So that's that. All right, so now everything is all closed up. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut her bangs. She likes her bangs to be a little bit longer and slightly full. Um, I like to do my bangs in one big cut. Today I decided to give her a razor cut bang, which usually I'd use my shears and cut the bang. But for today, I decided to go ahead and use my razor to kind of soften the ends. And all I did was basically carve out where the bangs would be. She always tells me what length she likes. She does like to have her eyebrows covered. So we go down just a little bit farther and then I'm using my razor. The razor is going to give it a softer line. So the line isn't going to be super bold like if I was using my shears. Typically if I use my shears, shears are also known as scissors, you guys. I have to go back through and soften the bang. But what I found was using my razor allows me to not really have to do that because it softens the actual line already and it gives more of a feathering effect. So when I curl her, I really don't have to do much work. I don't have to go back through and soften it. I don't have to go back through and even it out. 
I actually do enjoy using the razor more than anything else because it really just makes my job so much easier and it gives such a nice or, or a more soft appeal on the client. All right, so now I'm just going through and flat ironing her. I switched over to our one and three fourths inch anniversary iron. That iron is also on sale today, June 22nd for actually $50. And that is a titanium one and three fourths inch professional iron that you can utilize at home. It also has an automatic shut off. So if you forget to turn it off, it will turn itself off within a matter of seconds to minutes. I love these irons. H2 Pro is my go-to. And really all I do is just go through and kind of silk out the hair. One thing with Empire hair, Empire hair has a little more texture to it. So when we are classifying Empire hair, this would be considered yakky hair. If you guys remember those terms from way back when, they had yakky, they had silky straight. This is a yakky style hair. So it really does require you to go through with a little bit of heat just to kind of silk it out and soften it. And remember, we are blending this in with her hair. So we do want to make sure that the texture matches as close as possible. And you can see her hair right there in the back. It blends so well with the color. I can honestly tell you guys with Empire, with their salt and pepper, they have a, um, they have a version that's more salt than pepper. And then they have a version that's more pepper than salt. My client here, we are using the version that is more pepper than salt. I can't remember the number but they only have two kinds. When you see it, you know it. And if you guys notice, it blends perfectly with her hair. And that's why Empire is really my go-to for my salt and pepper clients who get styles like these. Okay, so for the bangs, basically all I do is kind of divide the bangs into two, maybe three sections. I use my larger flat iron to do my bangs. 
The reason why I like to use the larger one, which is the one and three fourths inch, is because I like to have the bangs where they're kind of um a larger a larger curl or a larger curve versus when I use my smaller iron, which is like the one inch, you run the risk of having a fish hook. That's number one. Number two, you run the risk of it not being as smooth as, as I would like it to be. But not saying you can't use the one inch, but I just prefer to use my larger base iron to do my bangs because I like my bangs to cascade. I like them to kind of like sit off of the face and not necessarily flat on the face. Now, the good thing about this style is my client is actually able to push her hair behind her ear and it still look very natural. It still look like it's her hair. It exposes her ear when she's ready or if she doesn't want to expose her ear, she doesn't necessarily have to. But that is also one of the great things about alopecia weaving. I'm able to include my client's hair, her natural hair into the style and allow her to be able to manipulate a style that would typically not be able to do something like that or you'd expose the wefts or it'll just be pulling on the hairline. In her case, there is no pulling. There's no discomfort whatsoever. She wraps her hair at night. This normally lasts anywhere between three and four weeks on her, sometimes longer. And then she comes back in and gets this done again. Another good thing is the hair that we use for this service, as pretty as it is and as expensive as it looks, Empire is actually no more than about $30 for the pack. So she's able to move and groove at a very cost-effective budget or on a very cost-effective budget. And then to finish off, I just use a little bit of Sebastian Shaper just to smooth out my closure, get rid of any flyaways, make it nice and flat. Comment down below, you guys, and tell me how you guys like this actual style on her. Do you feel like the feathered bangs with the razoring really made a difference? And also, if you've had a style like this, how did yours turn out? Did you like it and how long did it last? Put it down in the comments for your girl. Also, don't forget to wish your girl happy birthday down in the comments. Please and thank you. I appreciate each and every one of you. And also, like I said, today is the birthday sale. Visit my website, EliteHairCareUSA.com to shop all of the different birthday deals. We even have goddess polish back in stock, you guys. A lot of you have been asking. But remember, I said at the end of the video, I'd let you guys in on the super secret flash sale that's about to happen. Today at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time, you will be able to get Boost, which is right now sold out. But you'll be able to purchase a four ounce bottle of our Boost Scalp Ale or our Hair Repair and Growth Bomb for $7.20. So remember, 6.30 Eastern Time today, big flash sale. But then also, you guys can shop the regular sale right now, EliteHairCareUSA.com.